Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Beverly and I do things planner related. And for those that have been here before, welcome back, glad to have you. So I took a little break at Christmas and um, it was a rough break. <laughs> uh, the stomach bug hit our house, so it was, um, it was unfortunate. So <laughs> uh, anyway, besides that, feeling better, so that's great. Um, but I have moved into my 2023 planner and it is a Hobonichi Weeks Mega. I have the purple, um, Mega and I have their new cover or whatever it's called on here. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, next time you see this, it probably won't be this. I think I've dealt with the purple just about as much as I can. Um, <laughs> I made no promises when this started, how long this was going to last, and it's just, it's not my style. <clears throat> I'm more of a neutral um, tendency on the side of um, darker colors. Anyway, so probably going to change this out. I have a clear cover that it, I got when I bought the Hobonichi um, on the website, and um We'll probably end up changing it out and putting something here. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to, I'm going to look and see what I want to do. But, um, anyway, so besides that, um, the inside I have, um, I did a washi tape dashboard. That's Lauren Phelps. This continue, um, uh, sticker I've, I've had forever. I got it from Kitty Zombie Co. Um, along with my little Leo um, paper clip here. You know, um, I have some paper clips that I can do. This is um, Lauren Phelps Designs too. It come with the with the washi tape set. It's the little cards that she always sends, and I'm just using it as a dashboard to keep a couple of sticky notes. Flourish is going to be my word for the year. This um, is where I'm going to put my sick days or my vacation or what have you um, is going to go here just so I can keep track of that. For my habit tracker, I decided on um, doing three habits a month to um, introduce new habits or something that I really, really want to work on. Um, I have January, February, March because in the past videos, um, I use this, I'm going to be using this quarterly um, because I do dailies in the back. So um, it has enough room for quarterly dailies. Um, it has uh, probably room for a little bit more, but by the time I put lists and things like that in there, it's, it'll be, it'll be quarterly. And then my one um, habit that I'm going to carry through the whole quarter is going to be a no spend, and I have a little um, Coffee Monster Co. little guy crying over his credit card there because that's how I feel. <laughs> I'm crying over my credit cards. They're not high. It's just, it's something that I want to do. I want to get my credit cards paid off this quarter, and I should be able to do that. So, so this is January. I did go ahead and... Um, decorate it. I uh, put in Sterling Inks January kit. Um, I think I've showed it before. Uh, she did a very good job. Um, I can, now that I have my, my things down, I can put like a little extra here. Uh, This is a little washi. Am I going to fit that there? Probably not. Oh, maybe. I'll just trim it a little bit. I'll use the other half somewhere else. <clears throat> um, when I put this down, I hadn't put out my zones yet and my zones for um, for January are the garage, front porch, entrance, and outside. It's, so I, I loosely follow the fly lady method. And um, 
anyway, that's what I have. So this, uh, I already put down my vacation that I already have, a few things to remind me. We have a local medieval festival that we always go to every year, and it's three weekends this year, so we'll have to pick a weekend to go, and I just have those jotted down, New Year's Day. I have some birthdays, um, and I don't know if you can see them. They're written in light gray. So, um, and then I have the full moon, new moon, things marked. Anyway, um, I already filled out February and March what I knew, and then this will be used for future planning. If I have anything I need to write down, it's the same as my my other Hobonichi, my last Hobonichi. Um, it's just for future planning. That's all I do with that. So I did not use the first three weeks that you could be in here because you can get into here at the end of November. So I use the first three pages as my goals pages and I already have them March, uh, marked for January, February, and March. Um, I just have them clipped to the week. So these are the seven uh, areas in my life that I'm kind of working on. My work, my hobbies, myself, my spiritual growth, my financial growth, my relationship growth, um, my home growth, those kind of things. Some projects I want to get done in January. Um, that's what these are. And then the second column here, because I have it divided up in three columns, I'm going to put the date that they're completed so I can kind of keep track of that. And then these are going to be my weekly and daily routines for the month that I'm really focused on. And like I said, I'm keeping track of those up here. Um, my, my goals for the month are going to be gym three to five times a week. Meal plan or prep, um, meal plan, prep, and track. I um, really need to do better about meal planning, prepping, and tracking my food. And then I'm doing gratitude daily and one tarot a day. And that's going to be my three goals that I'm in, or my three habits that I'm introducing into um, my already established habits. So I want to keep track of those over January and see how they do. They may run into the next month. I may have three completely different ones in February. We'll see. Um, but that's the that's the gist of that. So this is the first week that I've already done. This was this week. And honestly, I didn't do much this week. I, um, I like I said, I was getting back, getting... Christmas cleaned up and getting back in the groove. I I haven't done much this week between the stomach bug that hit my house and just kind of being exhausted from Christmas. I this is this is all I've done. So these are the things I like to do daily. I put them in here, but I didn't get most of them done. So it is what it is. Um sorry, hold on. Sorry, I sound like it's my computer going off. I'm already off work, so they shouldn't be calling me. Um, so anyway, um, I, I didn't get I didn't get them done. I'm catching up today. I feel much better today. Uh, I got the bare minimum done, and sometimes that's all that counts. So that's why it's blank. Um, I did put. Like my gym, I wanted to do those days. Um, I wanted to track my spending every day, food tracking, gratitude, tarot. I put those in here because even though I have them up front because they're new habits, I feel like I need them front and center. So they're going to go on my week every week. So so this is the week we're going to be planning with. It's, um, it's a semi-plan with me slash walkthrough of my new planner. So, um, but I'm going to focus on the plan with me right now. Well, let me finish walking you through. So, I have three sections marked off. You know what? I already did that. We're not going to, we're not going to do it again. You want to go, you want to see it? Go back and look at my last video of my 2023 planner walkthrough. It's, it's in there. We'll, we're just going to move on. <laughs> 
oh, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of recovering and I just, I'm trying to pick what I have the energy for. So, anywho. So, um, this is going to be the week that we're planning with. And I'm going to move this. Um, and we're going to draw some lines because I did not draw the lines. I didn't prep for this. I kind of just willy nilly it. So let's see what this last one looked like. And you know what? I don't know. Am I gonna keep? Eh, I'm just gonna keep last week's. Oh, it's bumpy. The thing's already bumpy. It's a lot to do with the paper clips. But. It's fine. How was y'all's holiday? You got anything good planned for New Year's? How many of these do I need? I don't. I think we're going to keep it kind of low-key because, like I said, we're all just exhausted from, we're exhausted from um, Christmas. I think my kids have plans, but, you know, they're, 20 something they can they can puke and rally so to speak uh -huh. uh. and uh, get on with it <laughs> I, I do not bounce back as well so uh. alrighty so if you've watched any of my other plan with me's kind of dusty. Um, this is the little cheat sheet that I have that I keep. Oops. It's sticky. Has It's lost its sticky, so it's fine. So Monday is a day off for me, uh, but I still want to get up, go to the gym at my normal time, do my laundry, do all the things that I need to do and um, you know do everything that I need I'm gonna try to go to the gym Monday Tuesday Thursday, Friday. I don't know if that's going to work out, but that is my goal. And then work my way up. Um, we will see how it goes. I think I'm just going to keep my schedule that I had last week. And... As I try to build routines, um, I think I'm going to keep it kind of consistent so that I, you know, build those routines regularly. Okay. <clears throat> well, my camera cut off. So, um, <laughs> where did I leave off? And then my husband called because he was at the store trying to find something. So I got interrupted. So anyway, uh, I have my list of daily normal routine things that I do on the daily basis. I um, put in that I have a day off on Monday. That's our holiday. We have two birthdays this week, my husband and my daughter-in-law. I have a long weekend coming up because we're taking off for my husband's birthday. I put in my meal prep and plan, spending, gratitude, tarot, food track, and gym. These are my habits that I really want to get down this month. And, um, 
you know, I want to keep it forefront, so I will transfer those to my dailies every day and keep it here. I have one errand next week, maybe call the bank, and that's all I have. I can't think of anything else I have. I don't have any appointments. I know I have some stuff, some projects I want to get done, but with it being a short week, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure that I'm going to get to them. Like it's, um, it may be another week of just doing the minimum <laughs> and uh, getting through the week because we're supposed to be, you know, going somewhere and like it's like that's going to be all the prep that I have. And that may be all the energy that I have, <laughs> honest. Honestly, that, that may be it for me. So, we're going to leave this here. <clears throat> Sorry, you can still kind of hear it in my voice. But um, we're going to leave this here like this. I mean, honestly, it will fill up more than likely. I'm going to put some decoration on here. Like I said, I'm still using the Sterling Ink. January um, kit. And so let me see if I can find some more decor. Um, I have absolutely nothing planned for New Year's. We were going to have a party, but the flu and COVID hit my family. Um, not my personal family, but like my immediate family. So everybody that was going to come, it's kind of quarantined. Oops. Uh, let's see if this is going to come back up. Let's see if this is going to come back up. So that's kind of out of the question. And then, I don't know, we might go to the local, we have a brewery here in town, and uh, they always put on a good kind of New Year's, and it's very, very casual, kind of, um, very casual kind of gathering, or get together, um, that they always have and it's a um, brewery um, and they do like and they also serve food and things like that they have kid nights where they show big movies on the screen and do like free hot dogs and stuff um, but I don't know what their plans are for New Year's I'm not sure let's see what else I think I'm going to leave this like this, am I? Or I'm going to tinker with it. Maybe I'll tinker with it a little bit. Mm. Put that on top of that. Am I going to like that? Nope. Nope, my brain doesn't like it. Immediate no. It's a nope for me. Do I like that down here? No, I don't think so. Up here, no, down here, maybe. Here um, in this box area here, I usually put my meals and my weather, um, but I made a section in my planner back here that I'm tracking my breakfast, lunch, and dinners, my gym workouts, and then I have a little list for like groceries and stuff if I need it. Um, or if I want to make notes about my gym or whatever, my workouts, I can. And then, um, this little section here is my bill section. So I use it as a check registry. My bills go here. My check registry goes here, just like it did in my last planner. And then this section is for my tarot a day. I put my tarot that I pull a day, just what it is, kind of the meanings and things like that. So I'm learning. And then my gratitude goes in this little section here. So 
I don't use this section as much. So, um, so I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it like this. And it'll fill up. Or it won't. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It may look like another week like this where there's nothing. And you know what? That's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm all, I'm all right with it. Because um, I know people are going to ask me. Um, these little stickers are from Caden Mom's shop. I used them in my last Kobanichi. These, uh, this weekend sticker and these are from Mandy Lynn Plans. And they're part of her weekly, I think it's called the weekly weekly thing or whatever it usually has like monday tuesday wednesday thursday but i'd already used those i think in my last planner and then it gives you uh, all the dates it goes all the way to 31 like you can kind of see these two and kind of compare so it goes all the way to 31 so you can use whatever dates you need and then it gives you you know little stickers for stuff um Where else? Um, okay, so that was that. This is my vision board. I did end up putting some packing tape over this to kind of, because these were flipping up <clears throat> and it made it kind of laminated. It's a little thick for me. I think next time I do this, it, I'll probably use a thinner packing tape, but it's a little thick for me. But anyways, and I have my goals that I had broke down and showed in my goal thing. My old video, you can go back and look at that. Some lists like to do's, my adulting list, when's the last time I did some things. And then we get into January. So this was last week. This is January. Some projects I want to get done. Like I said, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get done next week. I may move some of these over if I see that I have time. Um, I did leave myself two pages or a spread to <clears throat> make notes if I need to or whatever for the month. I did do that this month. These ended up being my dailies for this last week. Let me show you what I did because I was kind of, like I said, I was out of it. I was sick. Um, I got Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, next week, <laughs> and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, you know, it's whatever. That's the only thing with a bullet journal. You don't have to do it in order. So, it's whatever. And all these days ended up being blank because I was sick. I tried to do something on Wednesday that just did not happen. I had best intentions on Tuesday night and I uh, filled this in Wednesday the stomach bug hit and like I was just out Wednesday and Thursday so those are blank but that's okay I'll use them for lists or whatever I can always come back to them and use them that's not a big deal for me today is catch-up day it's all the things mopping vacuuming wiping things down trying to get the sick out of our house did laundry, sheets, cleaned the bathrooms. Um, I'd been wiping them down because we were all sick, but, you know, um, really give them a good scrubbing, so. And then I made out, went ahead and put in for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then next week I can make notes or whatever. Um, I am using, like I said, the January kit for sterling ink come with these dated um you know stickers and then it also come with five weeks worth of dailies um headers so that's what i have here i have um numbered just my calendar because i get up at 4 a.m and i go until nine so that's already on there I am going to put some stickers, maybe. Maybe. Um, I'll do a little 
decoration on each one. Turned into a less plan with me and a more of a flip through and a, uh, is that right? That's fine. These, these go down great, but they don't come up great. So, you know, if I can stick this on any day, it's going to be this day here because <clears throat> see if this is going to come up because I no, nope, it's just not okay well then I'm going to stick it on this day here because I have both of these days off so I'm going to put it on Saturday because I'm not even going to be in town so this will be just memory keeping probably just a little jot of what we did um These are pretty. Use these. I'm sorry, it's a little shadowy. I'm hoping you can see the sun keeps going behind the clouds. It'll come out and it'll be too bright and then I'll close the curtain and then it's too dark because it'll go behind the clouds again. Uh, <clears throat> Florida. It's fickle, I tell you now. What are y'all doing for New Year's? I already told y'all. I don't really have plans, but it's whatever. I think everybody's made their planner lineups by now. If you're not, that's fine. You, you still have time. Um, honestly, if you go, what you're ever doing, if you still got room in it and it's still working for you, just keep whatever you're doing. Who cares? Because if it should be anything else, it should be functional. Because if it doesn't work, it can be pretty all at once, but it's gonna be useless. And I kind of like just the little simple green. I'm actually thinking of next quarter doing a pen only Hobonichi. Seeing how that turns out. Oh, that there. Um, because why not? I am doing a no spend for the first quarter minimum. I already have things in my budget like <clears throat> we're going away and my daughter's birthday and things like that. But outside of that, mainly my no spend applies to planner supplies <laughs> and um, out to eat because damn, we eat out a lot. But. Um, All right, I think that's it. Let me put some on Sunday, I guess. Let me put something else. I have this whole kit over here. And I'm sure some people would do a better job at putting it down, but you know what, it's whatever for me. Let's put this one of these down. I kinda like this one. Because it's all about balance, right? Right. And that represents it perfectly because it's all about balance. Um, so as I go, you know, maybe I'll add some stuff, maybe I won't, maybe I'll leave it just like this. Who knows? Because this is all just a figure it out game, right? That's what we're all doing is just figuring it out. All right. So the rest of my planner, I got finances here, but I'm not really using it. Um, 
This is a place for projects. Um, if I have a project, I can map it out here, all like the little steps and things. And there's enough, one for each week, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing is one project a week. I won't do more than that. Some projects will end up being two weeks <clears throat> if they're timely or expensive. And then um, planner time here is marked so I can put stuff down for my next planner. Ideas, things I liked, things I didn't, things I want to try in the next one, things I, that worked that I want to carry over, whatever. Um, so... That's pretty much my planner setup. So it was a flip through plan with me, 2023 planner flip through, little bit of everything. It's a hodgepodge of stuff, right? Hope it makes sense. Hope it, somebody enjoyed it. All right. All right, well, I will see y'all next week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this up, I think, and then um, I am going to do a flip through of my last planner because uh, that was annoying. Um, I'll do a full flip through of my last planner because I'm completely done with it. And I, that will be um, July through December in that in that Hobonichi Weeks mega. And um, that will probably be my next video. So let me know what else you want to see. Um, if something, to, if you have any questions, put them down below. If you like this kind of content, like my channel, that helps. Uh, subscribe if you want to stick around, see what I do next. Um, and until next time, guys. See y'all later. Bye.